Lightspeed Spanish, podcast number 18. 18. For beginners, and today we're dealing with um, some unusual verbs. Very popular, very useful, very irregular. Mm. I was going to say, I like the way you said unusual verbs instead of irregular verbs. There you are. <laughs> yeah, they are unusual. Reframe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bueno, pero primero, India. Eh, ¿Qué tal estás? Estoy estupendamente bien. ¿Y tú? Me alegro. Eh, sí, eso. <risa> <risa> Lo mismo. <risa> sí. Uh, muy bien. Me alegro, Cintia. Ok, so, um, we're going to deal with four verbs in this uh, podcast. Ok, the first verb is the verb to do, and it's called hacer. Yeah? Hacer. Now, Normally, when you've done the, the verb breakdown with us before, you realise that you know what you have to do is you take take the er off and add o when you talk about yourself. Yeah. Now with hacer, that would make aco. Mm, yeah. Aco. And that's not what it is. No. It's actually irregular. So how do you say I make? Or I do. Or I do. Ago. Ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it isn't ago, it's ago. So the C becomes a G. Now you'll find that pattern repeating quite often with a lot of verbs where in the, the your form, the O form, the G, there's a G appears. Okay? Which uh, we call the go verbs. The go, the go verbs. verbs, yeah, the go verbs. Um, you, you already know one, for example, tengo. Tengo. Yeah. It's a go verb which is from ten air and there's a G appears, okay? So it's common. So, how does hacer break down? Because after that, it's normal, isn't it? Yeah, hago is just a go verb, and then normal. So there will be hago, haces, hace, mm -hmm. hacemos, hacéis, hacen. Muy bien, thank you. Gracias, Gordon. Hmm. So, that's a that's a verb that um, is used um, used a lot more than it is in, in English. The verb to do, mm. yeah. For example, where have we seen that being used um, in the weather? Yeah. Yes, when we say hace calor, hace frío. Yeah. So that they, they use it as it makes heat and it makes cold, which we covered. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, you were saying, ago, I make, or I do? Si. Yeah. Sorry, yes. Yeah, si, you can say that. They, they understand that. They're getting quite a good level now. <laughs> okay. Um, but that isn't as in I do, as in you, what you would say if you were going to get married. Do you? I do. You wouldn't say, ago. No, you wouldn't no, say, no. ago. It's not I do as in an affirmation. It's I do something. You know, I, I do the... That I do is an auxiliary verb. That's that right. We call it, which yeah. has no meaning on its own. Yeah. I do what I do, want to marry you. Yeah. Or, yeah. But if, if do is the doing, the action, yeah, that I is after the, the doing. The doing of it, yeah. Or the making. Yeah. Like, do. For example, I do that. Do, yeah, yeah do your homework. Yeah. That's the doing. So yeah. that's after. So, what, what would be, for example, I do my homework? So that would be, hago mis deberes. Hmm. Okay. O ejercicios, o mi tarea. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's one verb that's very, very popular. Okay, used a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so be aware of that one. What about, ¿qué haces? ¿Qué haces ¿Qué is, haces? what do you do for a living? Yeah. We've done that, haven't we? That's right, yeah. Or what are you doing or now? Or what are you doing now? ¿Qué haces? Yeah. Okay, so very, very popular verb. Um, <laughs> next one Shut up, is, moving on, I'm looking at the time, we've got, to get, we've got to get the three verbs in now. Next one is the verb to play, as in to play sport, not instruments. Not instruments. Just sports and games. And that is? Jugar. Jugar. Okay. Now, normally, following the rule, it would be, jugar would be jugo. 
but no, because jugo is juice. Juice. Well, yeah. in Latin America. But in, in Spanish, it's the juice. For example, the juice of the meat and things like that. Um, so, how does jugar conjugate? Something? Okay, so the U becomes U E in the person's. You've done the boot, haven't, haven't you? Um, yes. Well, I do the three, two, one, which is three regular, two regular, one irregular. So it goes juego, juegas, juega. Jugamos, jugáis, juegan. Okay. So it's always in the we and the you all that the verb is always, normal. always normal. If, if it's irregular, it'll always be normal in those two, the we and the, the you are. Outside of that, so the you becomes you we, so you get this jue, jue. Yeah? So the other interesting thing is when you talk about playing something, it's, this verb is very typically followed by a. So you say, for example, juego, eh, juego a las cartas. So I play cards. You say, juego a las cartas. Okay. Now what happens is, just out of interest, when, when you've got a, and then, for example, if you want to say, I play football, football is... El fútbol. El fútbol. So you've got a, and you've got el. When you join those together, it becomes al. Al. So you say juego al fútbol, mm -hmm. juego al golf. Most sports tend to be masculine. Uh, uh, that's what I see. Mm -hmm. There aren't that many that are feminine. Juego yeah. al ajedrez. Sí. Chess. Um, al cricket, al rugby, al, al. Juego al parchís. Much parchís. Ludo. Ludo. Mm. Juego al doesn't have to be sport. Yeah, so it tend, they tend to be masculine. There are some feminine ones. So bear that in mind with jugar, it's jugar a. That's to play, but it's not to play instruments, okay? Great, we're doing really well here. And then we've got this fantastic verb, which you've really got to get in your pocket. It's the best one, and it's to be able, to can, yeah? To can. To can, <laughs> yeah. And what's that, Cynthia? Poder. Poder. P-O-D-E-R. Okay? To be able. And that's the I can, you can, he can, she can. Yeah? Now this one's irregular. How does it break down, Cynthia? Come on, it is also irregular in English. Probably. I can, you can, she can. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah, we normally put an S on. Yeah, and it's not. So, there you are. There you are. You know. mm -hmm. So, again, the, the you... O. No, sorry, the O becomes U E. Mm -hmm. Again, in the three, three, two, one rule, mm -hmm. or the boot, yeah. whatever you prefer. So it goes: puedo, puedes, puede, podemos, podéis, pueden. Okay. So, Cynthia, you in the video, probably? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure? Do you want to move yourself in a little bit? You want to see half your head? You told me okay. off before that I was too close. No, I said you were behind me. And it was making my neck hurt. That's what I said. <laughs> okay. Um, bueno, Cindia. So we have Puedo. I can. I'm able. I can. Mm -hmm. So for example, um, using the verb before, I can do it would be what? Puedo hacerlo. Puedo hacerlo. And the low is just the it bit, yeah? Which you've joined on. Can you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. okay. Adding in a me. Mm, you little thinker. Well, so, we'll explain. So, puedes, puedes. A hacerme un favor. Mm -hmm. Puedes hacerme un favor. So you can use it as a question, obviously. Um, uh, Puedo fumar? Can I smoke? No, it's not allowed. <laughs> not allowed, yeah. Está prohibido. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um, next one, because we don't Next one. Have time. Okay. Oh, goodness. And the last one is querer. Querer. To want. Okay. Another important one. So, why don't you run through that one quickly? Okay. Querer. The first E becomes IE. So that goes. Q 
quiero, quieres, quiere, queremos, queréis, quieren. Okay, so there's an I appears in there. Quiero, quiero. Yo quiero un helado, Cintia. ¿Y no quieres un café? No, no quiero un café. Ah. Quiero un helado. Yo también. Yo quiero un helado. Un helado. Mm. Mm. Sí. <laughs> okay. So that there are four very, very useful irregular verbs, okay? So we'll leave it there and we're going to the shop now to get an ice cream. <laughs> okay. Entonces, hasta la próxima. Hasta luego. Hasta luego.